It's the G to the U to the R to the U. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, welcome back, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, just want to let you know this next segment is brought to you by McFlurries. This straight Oreo cookie and cream McFlurry. During the break, man, this was one of the best tasting McFlurry I ever had. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna tell you where I got it from, but y'all know the name. It's called a McFlurry. You know what I mean? So if y'all have a chance, go to your local place that serves McFlurry, McFlurry and tell them the G to the U to the R to the U sent you, man. On that note, let's talk about the Patriots and the Bills. Oh my God, man. I call this the Orchard Park Massacre. Dog, did y'all see what happened to Bill Belichick, man? They almost put 50. They almost put 50 on Bill Belichick, man. Sean McDermott was not playing, man. So my take in this game was simple, man. It was simple. What I when I saw this game, it's like I felt. It's like I like to watch, I don't know about you guys, I like to watch like crime shows. You know what I'm saying? I like to watch crime show, Law and Order, for the next 48, gangster shit. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're, I'm a sicko, so I like to see sicko shit. You know what I'm saying? And in some sicko shit, like some crime, it's called a crime of passion. You know what I'm saying? In a relationship, right? You just, the other person has just defeated you so much. They just hurt you, hurt you, hurt you for years, and pain, and pain, and pain. And then you just snap. You know what I'm saying? They call that crime of passion. When I was watching the Buffalo Bills and the New England Patriots play, dog, and you know it's like historically the Bills and Belichick has been beating and beating and beating and beating the Bills, and then for one Saturday night or Sunday, whatever the game was, man, the whole city of Buffalo, they just how did they snap on Bill Belichick and the New England Patriots, dog? I mean, that's what you call a crime of passion, a football passion. Those guys lost it. I mean, they were scoring. They did everything they can. You know, in the movies, in the crime shows, you know what I'm saying? They're like, man, this guy murdered his, his loved one and stabbed him 50 times because it's a crime of passion. That's what was going on. Josh Allen just kept stabbing Belichick. Just, uh, touchdown on this drive. Uh, touchdown on this drive. Uh, touchdown on this drive. I'm talking about it was it was in no gunshot. It was in no one play, you know what I'm saying, bombs over Baghdad. I'm talking about crime of passion. He just kept stabbing him. 10 play drive. Stabbing him. 12 play drive. Stabbing him. 15 play drive. I'm like, damn. I'm sitting here like, this is vicious, man. And you can just feel all the emotion. You see the emotion coming out during the, during the rage. It's like crime on passion is rage. You lose it. The Buffalo Bills on Sunday night lost it, man. They snap, man. Just like that TV show, snap. They just snap. I'm telling you, man. That's exactly what happened. And Belichick, I mean, drop, bro. I mean, there's nothing you could have done, bro. All the emotional beatdown, all the emotional beatdown the Bills have taken from the Patriots. All the embarrassment at home. On the, imagine the Buffalo Bills getting embarrassed by the Patriots. You know what I'm saying? In front of your mom, your dad, your loved ones, your kids, they've been getting smoked in front of your whole family, bro. Bill Belichick been smoking the Buffalo Bills in front of the family, in front of the kids, like that, like it ain't nothing. He made Josh Allen look like a fool. But on Saturday night, bro, this was 10 years, 20 years, 30 years of emotional abuse that came out from the Buffalo Bills. And they were like, just like that Jennifer Lopez movie, enough. The Buffalo Bills told New England Patriots, enough is enough. Y'all remember that Jennifer Lopez movie, man? She was getting abused, a bad relationship, and she couldn't take it no more. She's like, enough is enough. I'm gonna fuck you up. That is exactly what Josh Allen did to Bill Belichick. Bill Belichick, you wanna be a quarterback killer? A young quarterback killer? You wanna talk about I'm seeing ghosts? You know what? Enough is enough. It's my turn now, and you're gonna see my ghost. I am Josh Allen. Man, dog, that was a beautiful game I watched, man. Man, I was like, the passion that came out. 
the anger, the frustration, the years from the city, the years of frustration came out Saturday, man, and congratulations to Josh Allen. And y'all know me. I am the biggest, biggest Josh Allen non-believer. I don't believe in Josh Allen at all, man. I think he's a fugazi. You know what I'm saying? I think he's a genie. I think he's Santa Claus, man. I think he's a tooth fairy, man. He's something people talk about, but I never seen no experience. That's Josh Allen to me. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? People talk about the Santa Claus. People talk about this. I've never seen it. People talk about unicorn. I've never seen it. You know what I'm saying? I heard of it. I ain't never seen him. That's Josh Allen. I, I heard of him. But I ain't never seen them do what the hell he did. But damn it, Saturday, I see you, JA17. I see you, big dog. G to the U to the R to the U.